This is for our high school 11th grade homeschool curriculum. So the first thing we have is um, physics. This was a challenge to get through. We did not make it all the way through this book like we wanted to. There's about four questions. The teacher's edition does have some additional notes, unlike the student edition, and then of course the answer on the side. We also took physics one for dummies. And this was a big help. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for all of this. Moving on to our math, we have the teachers and the student edition. Again, the teacher doesn't the teacher's edition doesn't really have any extra notes, it just has the answers. There's about 70 to 100 questions per uh, section. And the teacher's edition only has the answers on the sides. But there is no extra notes. For United States history, we have the student and teacher's edition. I like the layout of these books. Again, there's not too much reading. And then you get to your questions. They break it down to smaller sections. So you love the layout of this book. This went pretty smoothly. Uh, the teacher's edition, again, it was a little bit ripped. But I, the only thing I didn't like about the teacher's edition is that try to fit four pages on. So it's on one uh, teacher's edition page. So it's hard to see if you're reading along. And then there is some extra notes, and then the answers. To go along with our U.S. history, we have our Fast Track book. Again, it's like we use this as a review at the end of our uh, year. So for the end of 11th grade, we use this as our review book. And then we read um, Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. It was a very big book. That took up, again, a lot of time, because it's a very big book. Then we had a little book that's just a wit and wisdom. For our English 3, we decided to get um, some textbooks. The first half of this book is writing, and then the second half is all grammar. And we have the student and teacher's edition of this. The teacher's edition has some notes on the sides and has, of course, the answers. To go along with our writing and grammar, we have the language of literature, American literature, student and teacher's edition. I got this um, and the teacher's resource package for $35 on eBay of the setup and a teacher's edition a little bit of highlighting throughout it but this was one of our favorite books and there's some notes on the side and then answers to the assessments and it also came with a teacher's resource package I won't go through the whole thing but there is each unit has a resource book there is a historical background in literature and literary periods, grammar usage, and mechanics books. Uh, there's some selection summaries, um, and then integrated assessments. There is a unit resource books all the way until unit seven, which is the final unit. Then there is um, some lesson plans. There is, uh, again, a lot of transparencies, and the formal assessments. And with the writing and grammar books and our literature books, that's what we counted as our English 3 for 11th grade. Along with physics, our other elective is World Geography, which I love the layout of this book. It's very simple. And then there's only four questions. We do have extra writing assignments that go along with this, and we have documentaries we watch, and we count that too. 
Then there is the chapter assessment at the end of each chapter. The teacher's edition is about the same. Again, only difference is additional notes and the answers. Then we also have 100 words every high school graduate should know. And we decided to uh, you start using this in 11th grade. We really focused on US history for 11th grade and we did some understanding the Constitution. Uh, I love how these workbooks are set up. We didn't use all of these, we just used parts of it. And again, answer keys in the back, then where the topic is, then there's a test at the, like a final test at the back of the book. Answer there in the back. Then we have 1607 to 1865. And then we also got United States history, people and events, 1865 to present. Uh, same setup as the previous ACT math and science workbook and then we also have our English reading and writing and again really like the layout of this book it's very helpful that was our 11th grade high school homeschool curriculum I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'll put up some more we had some other books we used for 11th grade and our, again, our anatomy and physiology book we used. I'll show you all of them here, up on the screen. These were just some of the books we used. Okay, thank you for watching.